In this screencast video, we are going to see about the simple transporters. Mainly, these are all operating based on the sodium and potassium gradient. Thus, sodium and potassium gradient serve as a energy for the operation of this simple transporter systems. Three type of simple transport system seems to be existing. One is a uniport, the one in which the substrate is moved in a unidirectional. Antiport is the one in which it is moved in the opposite direction. And finally, symport is the one in which two substrates have been moved inside together. Regardless of this different simple transport mechanisms, the event is catalyzed by a protein called as a porters. For example, in uniporters, proteins are carrying a substance unidirectionally across the membrane either in or out. If you look at it to the point related to symporters, Symporters are also referred as a co-transporters that are involved in the transport of molecule along with a second substance. That is, two molecules have been taken together there in the symporter systems. In this system, typically the second molecule will be of a proton. Now, we look at in detail about one of the simple transporter that is a symporter. A classical example of a symport system operating there in the microorganism is involved in the uptake of the sugar lactose. This system is referred as a lactpermease. It is a well studied symporter that is present there in the E. coli. As each lactose molecule enters into the cell, potential energy in the form of proton motive force is diminished slightly by the co-transport of proton together there with the lactose. This results in the energy driven accumulation of lactose in the cytoplasm against the concentration gradient existing. Apart from lactose, the other substances that may be transported inside the cell with the help of symport mechanism includes phosphate, sulphate and several different organic compounds. Now, we look at the details about the next transport system that have been existing there in the cells, that is the group translocation. It differs from the simple transport which we have seen earlier in two ways. The transported substance is chemically modified during the process of transport. That is, say glucose is taken means it will be converted into glucose 6 phosphate. Fructose is taken, it will be converted into fructose 6 phosphate. Like that, it will be modified and it will be stored there inside the cells. Second difference is energy for this process is obtained not from ATP or proton gradient but it is obtained from certain energy rich organic compound that have been produced there by the cell say for example phosphoenol pyruvate that is formed during the operation of the glycolysis serve as a energy donating compound for this transport system best studied group translocation systems are present there in the e coli including the glucose mannose and fructose transport systems these sugars are phosphorylated during the transport by the passport transferase system that have been existing. The passport transferase system consists of a family of protein that are all working in together, that is working in concert. That is five proteins are necessary to transport any sugar through this passport transferase system. Before the sugar is getting transported, the proteins in the passport transferase systems are themselves alternatively phosphorylated and dysphosphorylated in a cascading fashion until the actual transporter that is the enzyme 2C which phosphorylates the sugar during the transport events. A protein called HPR, the enzyme that phosphorylates the HPR that is enzyme 1 and enzyme 2A are all cytoplasmic proteins. However, enzyme 2B lies on the inner surface of the cell membrane and enzyme 2C is an integral membrane protein existing in the cell. The HPR and the enzyme 1 are non-specific components of the passport transferase system participating in the uptake of different sugars. Thus, several versions of enzyme 2 exist. One for each or different sugars that have been transported inside the cell. As I already said, the energy for this transport system is derived there from the energy-rich compounds such as a phosphoenol pyruvate. 